I'm Darlene and this is Richard and we're from New York City and we're really excited to be back at IVF Spain after almost two and a half years now. Uh, we have our little baby now and we couldn't be more excited to be back here and we think a lot about our journey and what it actually took to, to bring our family to life and we honestly think about it every day that IVF Spain was part of our journey and now part of our family. Yeah, I think that reflecting back on, on what we've been through, um, this was definitely the right choice for us. Yeah. Um, we were through so many disappointments back in the US with, um, with failed treatments and when doctors said to us that it was a numbers game, we both said that we need to do something different yeah. and then we looked to Europe. I being from Europe, from Denmark, um, we knew that treatment over here was different and that was one of the things we wanted to, to explore. Yeah, and it was interesting, I, I do like to research and I remember the first bit of research I did, IVF Spain was actually the first one that came up on the list and I continued to look at others only to rule out that they weren't the right match for us and, and the biggest match for us was around the technology and the opportunity to have access to different type of treatment that we weren't able to access in the U.S. And I would say the most important is that the level of care um, that IVF Spain has given us from the moment we reached out to being back here today two years later, it's, it's really been the most positive experience that we never felt alone, we never felt confused, we never felt like we couldn't ask a question or we didn't have support and I think that's the most important thing. This is emotional, it takes a physical toll, it's financial, but when you know that you have an amazing set of doctors, an amazing set of staff behind you, it allows you to do what you want to do which is create the family and that's exactly what we were able to do. I was excited all day to be able to come in and it was, you know, everybody's journey to getting to this point is so different and I just, my heart just wanted to smile today because it's a, it's a journey and it's a lot of work but you, you look when you come in and I couldn't have been happier. And I think the only thought going through my mind as I walked in today was every single moment was worth it. And I wouldn't have changed anything at all. We were fortunate and there were some bumps along the way but at the end of the day, my heart is smiling and we couldn't be happier. I think it's very important that people, they start exploring other options if they are in their third or fourth, you know, round of IVF and they're just getting told, you know, just try again, just try again. And I think a lot of people go into this, they think that IVF is just, oh, you just do, if, if the normal way doesn't work, you just do IVF and it, it always works, right? But that's, that's not always the case. And I think that we, we, we know now some of our friends that are blindsided because they just think that now, oh, they can't do it themselves, so now they're just trying IVF. And when we think about our journey, you know, five, six treatments before we actually went to Spain, they are going through a lot of emotional stuff. Yeah. So yeah. we want to convey to them that, that it's very important to actually, you know, do your due diligence, look into the clinics. And one thing I particularly find interesting is that we in the U.S., our statistics that we had a pregnancy yeah. where yeah. we actually lost a, a baby in week 14. And um, that is still a pregnancy in the books of the statistics where we went. Yeah. And nobody followed up with us if that actually is a baby today or not. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what that leads us to believe is that the statistics and the results that come out of IVF Spain are valid and reliable. And for some people, they might not look at all the details, but I think those details are important. And my advice is, you know, do your research when you're looking for the treatment that you want, but also remember that at the end of the day, if you're looking for a place that not only has excellent statistics, excellent patient care, and excellent medical um, work, it is all here at IVF Spain. Um, I think the biggest thing that we continue to think about though is, is you can't give up hope, right? With every loss and with every corner and with every new protocol, we continue to think about what we were actually doing. And what we were doing is creating a brand new life um, for us. And we have that life now. And it's, you know, my eyes get watery. No, 
you know, you 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 think you know what it's going to be like, and then it's it's better than what we thought. Um, it's better than what we thought. We wouldn't have changed anything um, along the way. We look at her every day, and we're thankful, and we actually love how she came into this world. Um, some babies come naturally, and, and she came. She's our medical miracle, and she came through a lot of hearts. Yeah.